Today, we are thrilled to have a conversation with Renee Powell, who was the first African-American woman elected to the PGA of America 25 years ago, a very special anniversary for her. She also was the second African-American woman to compete on the LPGA Tour. She was the first at-large director of the PGA of America board, and she and her father, Bill Powell, are the only father-daughter duo to be elected to the PGA Hall of Fame. Ms. Renee, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Thank you so much, Monica. Let's start with how your father inspired you to want to play this incredible game of golf. Well, I think the way he really inspired me was that he put a club in my hand at the age of three, so I didn't know any different. I learned to walk and talk and play golf at the same time. But you know what? I, I fell in love with it in the beginning. Now, Clearview is a very special and unique place for a variety of reasons. Please describe the course that you spent most of your life and essentially fell in love with the game. Well, Clearview, my dad built now, is we're, we're at our 75th anniversary this year. And he did it by himself. And he literally walked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, every single fairway, seeding that. He had just returned home the year before that from World War II and England and Scotland and played golf over there when he was in those countries. Certainly when my dad built the golf course uh, back in 1946, it wasn't that he thought about it being on the National Historic Registry or anything like that. And it was just, you know, building a place, creating a place for access. Why is Clearview the perfect name? You can see out over um, a long, long distance, and you get such a clear view of the landscape. But my dad was such a visionary person too, and so he had, I think, such a clear view of the future and what should be and what could be and what we can all work towards. What do you think his message would be to women of all walks of life to get out there and never give up and play this game? My dad's message would probably be, you know, fall in love with it and work hard. Set goals for yourself and try to achieve those goals and don't let anybody define you as an individual but choose to do what you want to do and continue to move forward. But he always taught me, you know, it takes effort and it takes work. Why are you so passionate about being a PGA professional? I think in joining and becoming a member of the PGA of America, it was continuing to learn, continue to grow, and they really dive more into the business of the game and the business of golf. When you put on and wear the badge of the PGA, you're doing so many different things. You know, you have used that part of your career in golf to impact so many. You've worked with the PGA Junior League, you've coached young women in high school, and you are coaching women veterans in the incredible Clear View Hope program. What makes that program special to you, Ms. Renee? Of all the programs that I've done throughout my entire life, this is the most rewarding program I've ever done. Two veterans here, and you guys are just meeting for the first time. And we're so glad to have you both here. I can use talents that I have to give to those veterans who have done so much for us. Okay, here we go, girl. Woo! Thank goodness, you know, God has blessed me with talents. And so it really is the way that I can thank our veterans for their service to our country and for keeping us safe, for keeping us free. A part of that experience, though, Ms. Renee, is you've just been an incredible mentor and coach to so many. What makes a good PGA coach a great Woo! PGA coach? Well, I think that you need to learn about the pupil, the person that you're teaching. You need to really be on one-on-one -on -one with them, know, know what their goals are, what they're trying, trying to achieve, and then working with them to achieve their goals. I saw an interview in which you said that your dad's focus was to give the opportunity to people that were denied. How important was that in his idea and then what you and the PGA are working to do in terms of giving opportunity to those that might not be able to play the game? The PGA of America, they really are trying to provide everyone the same opportunity too. So there are so many different things that they're doing and, and realizing that, you know, everybody didn't grow up, you know, on a golf course. But they want, you know, golf to look more like 
what our country does, more like America. And so they are working hard, doing different programs that will provide those opportunities for everybody, regardless of your gender, regardless of your race, your religion. Did you imagine that golf would provide you not only professional experience here in the United States, but it would give you an international resume. You'd become a global ambassador of the game that would transcend the color barrier, the gender barrier. You would teach in Vietnam, Africa. You would receive an honorary doctorate from St. Andrews. Did you ever imagine all of these things? No, never, are you kidding? Never in, in my wildest dreams. I have the honor to present with the degree of Doctor of Law Honoris Causa, Rene Powell. I became the third American golfer to receive an honorary doctorate from the University of St. Andrews behind Jack Nicklaus and Charlie Siffert, and the only female golfer ever to this day. Hi, Dan! <laughs> and I want to tell you that was the most thrilling thing in my life because I was able to take my dad we had not been in Scotland for 63 years since the war. And so when my dad was in the balcony and he was introduced and people got up and they had tears in their eyes, they gave him a standing ovation, they applauded and applauded and applauded. And I was glad that he could go then because he passed the next year. Golf is certainly my life, but also even though it's been my total life, it's a small part, right? because you have this whole glorious world. But I've used golf as a tool to help and to teach others. Ms. Renee, thank you so much for spending your time with us. We wish you the best of luck on all of your future endeavors and those on behalf of the Clearview course.